Let me make a prediction regarding the outcome of the NDP leadership convention in Toronto. Whoever is the leader will in all likelihood win Eastern Canadian minds and hearts, but not Western Canadian. And I predict that it will create a division clearly in ideological terms between Western Canada and the socialist mind of Quebec and Ontario. Ontario and Quebec have benefited from the equalization process, the transfer of wealth. Ontario indirectly by its control of tariffs and ultimately its uh, devaluation of the currency and Quebec by tariffs and by language and tradition barriers to foreign investment and foreign activity that is outside of Quebec. The result is Quebec has been a major beneficiary of equalization and always benefited from the idea that Canada owed it everything that was necessary to support it or else they would separate. Ontario, on the other hand, knew full well they were the broker, the central stock exchange, where the wealth of the West was exchanged for the votes of Quebec and Ontario, and where ultimately national unity was maintained by the division of power and wealth in the hands of Quebec and Ontario. It was a socialist exchange in Canada, but the West was always the giver and the East was always the receiver. So it's quite natural for Ontario and Quebec and the Maritimes to be in favor of socialism, but it's natural for the West to be in favor of free enterprise and the right to own, keep and enjoy property. The concepts are different because the economies are different and the ideologies are different between the West and the East in Canada. They are in every spiritual sense of the word two countries in one government. They are in effect two economies with one currency in one country. And it's only a matter of time before the wealth of the West, the resource wealth of the West, becomes too much of a plum for Ottawa to resist. The national energy policy which was established or attempted to establish the right of the federal government to take the wealth of the West has actually been accomplished by a number of other means. And it is being accomplished today by the push to devalue the Canadian dollar because a strong dollar damages the export economy of Quebec and Ontario. So my friends, I am encouraged by this knowledge that the election of a leader to the NDP and the ultimate demise of the Liberal Party will fracture the country into two political ideological camps. The West, which is in favor of freedom and free enterprise and basically conservatism, a smaller limited government and the East which wants a big government and the distribution of wealth from region to region and person to person. Those two ideas cannot, when they are clearly articulated and defined, exist in the same country and the West eventually will be free and I have always said and will always maintain we should free the West, create a smaller more effective country reflecting the values, beliefs, traditions and ideals of Western Canadians. Thank you.